There's a guy called Steven Jackson, right? He's an NBA player. I don't know if you're not a big sports fan. We can pull up this guy. He's got a podcast called All the Smoke. How much you smoke you want? <laughs> I want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. I want bro. all of it. Anyways, here's the story. Former NBA player, now All the Smoke podcaster, Steven Jackson, he says he walked off the altar the, altar the day of his wedding after his fiance or his bride to be at the time refused to sign the prenup. Get out. And then, and then that night, he banged one of her bridesmaids. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. No, Steven Jackson. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Get into this story. So here's a, here's a little save that money story for you right there, ladies and gentlemen. So Jackson, you know, all the smoke podcast there is. He played 14 seasons. The NBA made about $70 million, million, million. He was a decent player. He was a, I don't think he was ever an all-star, but he was a, he was a good, good role player. Uh, played with the Spurs, played Golden State, got, got a little game. So basically back in the day, early 2010s, I want to say, yeah. he was engaged to what is now this uh, L.A. Uh, basketball wives star. Her name is Imani Showalter. Uh, but he refused to get married to her unless she signed a prenup. Okay, good cool. for you, bro. So recently he tells a story, like they're like, dude, what happened on your wedding? Right? He had NBA players there. He had celebrities there you know how nba guys yeah. do they're doing their thing he tells his story he says he spent 400 grand for this wedding like he should have spent that on the down payment on a house yeah bingo 400 grand on a wedding that at the last second they called off get a load of this story he says here. she was dragging her feet on the prenup wouldn't do it <laughs> she was making up excuses they weren't adding up basically he wakes up on the wedding day anxiety riddled oh my god what's happening i'm not sure Prenup still unsigned. She's still not sure what she's gonna do. They're getting ready. There's bridesmaids are getting ready. Freaking Bobby Valentino, Bobby Valentino, you know, crooner R and B guy. He's singing. He's he got the pastor coming in there. You got the pastor, and finally, like the moment of truth, when right. it's ready to walk down the aisle, she just didn't sign the prenup. Homie goes, "No, I'm out." She revealed her true colors, called it off. Let's see a picture of this. Called it off. There he is. Yeah, called off the wedding night. Go back to the article. And then he says this. He tells this whole story, and then and then he drops. And then he drops like the the other the other foot on. It. He goes, yeah, on the wedding night, the wedding night that didn't happen. I spent all this money. I did all this thing. I still was gonna party. You know, we we obviously didn't get married, so we partied uh, at the hotel. You know, where they were all, where it all was getting down. Yeah. And he says, quote unquote, me and the partners were getting ready to go out. The partners. Two of her oh. main squeezes that was with her. Dude. They were with us that night. You know, wedding festivities. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to keep it funky. I'm going to keep it real <laughs> funky. I downed one of them. No. <laughs> I, I think that's code word for I bagged one of them. I downed? I downed one of them. That, I don't that's think, a new one. Yeah, it's a new one. Uh, I don't think that's the classiest no, approach, but no. he engaged in physical intercourse with yeah, one he, of them. Yeah, uh, you feel me? Uh, yeah, and, and he goes, her. "But that's her friends, though." He goes, that, "Those are the, that's yeah. how she rolls, dude. Those are her friends. Those are bride and yeah." And he goes, "Yeah, I did. I banged one of her friends. There it was." <laughs> oh, no. He goes, "If I'm gonna spend four hundred grand at a wedding, I'm gonna get something back." <laughs> That's that ROI you're talking ROI, about right there. ROI, dude. And anyway. That is scummy. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. Bridesmaid? He didn't get married. Yeah, but you were supposed to. He's feeling salty. And the bridesmaid? Anyway. Who's worse in that situation? Steven Jackson or the bridesmaid? Who is wrong in that situation? There, it's all sorts of wrong, bro. <laughs> it's all wrong, but I'll tell, wrong? I'll tell you who's not wrong. The guy who spent 400 grand that he wanted to get married, that the girl didn't want to walk down the aisle for the prenup. He's like, it's my wedding night. I'm having sex with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's there it is. Anyway, I see a lot of laughing emojis. That's what's going on. The life and times of Steven Jackson. Um, what would you have done in that situation? I wouldn't have walked down the aisle without the prenup. Homie could be, he made $70 million. He could be giving up $35 million, half his shit. So, uh, I'm Because homegirl wouldn't sign the prenup. Exactly. So he didn't walk down the aisle. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, right. She didn't sign the prenup. So I'm not fucking doing I agree, man. At that point. At that level, like, uh, no, it's like, no, no, no. This is weird. Like, why don't you want to sign it that badly? Like, that's what I would be thinking. Like, yeah. why don't you just do it? Obviously, the relationship. So, um, yeah, the relationship, I would say, did not work out. Look, I've, I was married briefly. Yeah, you were. I don't know if you know this. Uh, I got a prenup. Uh, it was in my party phase. I was in my early 30s. I was starting to make money, fell in love with a girl. Um, 
There may or may not have been some paperwork issues involved because she was British. Anyway, we got married real quickly. I said, listen, before we get married, yeah. sweetheart, I love you. We're together. I'm going to need you to sign this prenup. Is that how you said it? Yeah. And you know what she said? <laughs> yeah. Okay. She... Sign the prenup. See, that's see that, that, that that's someone that's like, I have no intention of taking your money, dude. What do you, what do you want? Would she... what, what, you want me to sign? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What do you want me to sign? And I'll anyway, sign we, we, the relationship was ups, downs, lefts, right. We had a good time. We weren't meant to be forever, but... The point is this. I was in love. We were crazy. We were in our South Beach party days. I'm, you know, a long way from there. But I was like, holy shit. I've got some money now. This girl does not have money. I know we're in love, but we've got you know, whole sorts of things going on. I'm going to get a prenup signed. Yeah, good for you. Okay? And um, when five years later, the relationship was up, down, left, right, and finally we called it quits. That's it. We huh? Amicably, there was no issues. Nope. We had no kids. You know, there was no child support. There was no who's getting what. It went down very easily. And look, I don't know the girl, but I yeah. feel just right off of her reaction of, okay. Yeah. She had, even if you hadn't signed one, no intention of, of signing it. Yeah. But then someone who hesitates, dude, you, okay, now you definitely have to sign it because you're 100% taking my yeah. money. Well, look, I'm not saying that, that, that you know, they're, they're, I'm not this prenup expert, but this is something, a conversation you should have before you get married. Yeah, totally. And what it is, like you said, like you were even joking. You're like, I'm broke as shit. Yeah. But if I marry a rich girl, I don't want to sign a prenup. I want that. I, you want half her shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's the mindset. Anyway, I have a business partner of mine. He got married to a girl. Good. They had no money when they got married. He was oh. just starting his career. They both were starting from scratch. They were in their 20s. They fell in love. No prenup. Homie. Ends up doing very well for himself. Uh -huh. He was making a cool. lot of money. Yeah. He and was. He was. Uh-huh. And um, I think, I don't know how much he was making a year, just well, well, well into six figure, you know, half a million bucks, yeah. maybe a million bucks. He was doing very well. Oh, this is an awkward conversation. Yeah. Uh, got divorced. Oh. Got divorced. Um, she, you know, went after everything or whatever. Of course. After shit. Of course. He was paying her ten thousand dollars a month. Fuck a month. That. A month. She was getting paid one hundred and twenty grand a year to do nothing. Now they raise kids. There's families to respect. I'll get it. You think he's happy? No. You think? Because what they do is uh, apparently they take I think like their, your last three years of salary, average oh. it up. So if you're doing really well, not Dude, a good time to get. The I money. don't know. There's yeah. so many angles of that. With so like, many angles. Yeah, of course. Like she supported him while he was making that oh, money. And then you got to do it for seven years, ten years, however long. I think however long you've been married, they cut it in half. If you're married Hell twenty years, that's ten years. Dude, it's not fun. If you enjoyed that short clip from the Sawscast, click here to watch another. Click here to watch the full episode, or just stay broke.